Hello beautiful people, so I already primed my face with the Fenty Beauty Foundation Primer and my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Original. I'm using the ABH Foundation Stick in Cool Golden as my base and I'm using the Sweet Talk Palette from ColourPop, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna go in first with the shade Meadow. I'm starting first by packing the shade on right above my crease and I'm gonna curve it out right underneath my brow bone. So I'm packing the shade on first and then I'll go in with another brush later just to blend it out a little bit above the crease. So I'm not going to lie, this was my first time using the foundation stick from ABH as a base and I didn't set it, I wish I did because there were some areas where I feel like the color definitely was enhanced by it but it made it difficult to blend out and I'm going to be honest, I'm not really that great with bases so I tried something new, it didn't work out the best but I feel like if I said it, it would have worked pretty well. So right now I'm putting the shade Icy Me on the outer corner, so I'm just focusing it right on underneath where I placed the shade Meadow and just building it up and then eventually once the outer corner is filled in, I'm going to bring it onto the crease below Meadow. Then I'm going in with the shade Feel Free and I'm just using this to deepen in that outer crease area. And I do want to add, I want to try the ABH new primer so bad, I just don't have the coin for it right now, so that's why I use a foundation stick, so if you guys are wondering, that's why I tried this. I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe I could, but I don't know. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going in with the shade Early Morning. This is a pressed um, glitter pigment, and I... I'm kind of addicted to glitter now. Like, I feel like glitter was the thing missing from like my whole makeup collection. And now that I have pressed glitter, I'm like, oh my God, give me more. <laughs> so I'm grabbing my Fenty Beauty matchsticks in the shade Cinnamon. So this is another thing. Like, I feel like this was a video of me testing out things that I haven't done before. And it was interesting, but pretty much I warmed the product up on the back of my hand and then I'm grabbing the product from the back of my hand and I'm placing it on all the areas on my face that I want to highlight. So what I'm doing is I'm using this highlight as a um, kind of to enhance my highlights and um, as a base for my foundation. Um, I'm gonna be honest I don't know if I put enough to really get the effect that I wanted because I went in pretty light-handed I didn't want it to be too crazy and then it looked like it was a little bit too light and I was like eh, I don't know but it, it's it's something you know <laughs> so now I'm grabbing my matchsticks in the shade espresso so just like before, I warmed up the product on the back of my hand and then I'm applying it directly this time onto my face. My nose is the only area where I'll use a brush to apply the contour because I want it to be a lot more defined and specific in that area. And then I will go ahead with a damp beauty blender and blend it out. So I do want to add what I've been doing lately for my face or complexion routine. It's kind of been that I go on with my contour first, then I add my highlight, then I put on foundation. I've been doing that because I don't want to use a lot of product. I already have oily skin and I found that using this technique really makes my skin or kind of it just helps with the products. I feel like blending. It doesn't look too heavy. It looks more skin like and I don't get super oily. So I've been really enjoying doing this technique. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Cool Gold in a highlight. Again, warming up the product on my back on the back of my hand, and then I'm just using this concealer brush to take the product from the back of my hand and apply it directly to the areas of my face where I want to highlight. So this is one of those techniques where when I go in with a beauty blender, I'll be able to see if it starts to sheer out too much or if I need to add it more. It's one of those things where you gotta go back and forth, but I do like this technique because it get, it puts like just the right amount of product on my face without it being too much.
Next, I'm gonna grab my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 450. I'm putting the product on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blot it out. So I'm not gonna be putting like a crazy amount on my face at once. And I just put this in all the areas where I don't have contour or highlight. And I'm just making sure I'm bringing the foundation down my neck so I don't have any awkward, weird, harsh lines around my face. Then I'm taking my Kat Von D Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. So I'm only applying this shade to the areas of my face where I added highlight. And the technique that I use is a press and roll. So I want to make sure I get the powder pressed into my skin. So that's why instead of a sweeping motion, I press and roll. Next, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep, and I'm using the same technique as before. I'm just gonna press and roll. I'm applying this powder to all the areas where I didn't put that translucent powder before. And I'm gonna be using my ColourPop blush in the shade Parakeet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smile and apply it to my face on my cheeks. Um, in the areas where I feel like I applied too much because I feel like I went a little bit heavy handed on the left side, what I'll do is I'll pick up that brush that I used before with the um, mineralized skin finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and blot out that area and blend it out. Moving on to the brows, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. I'm using the spoolie end first to comb through my brow and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of use this as groundwork to see all the areas of my brow that are sparse that I need to fill in. And then I'm going to go in with the product and use hair like brush strokes just to fill in those areas. And if I feel like I was a little bit too heavy handed, what I'll do is I'll go back in with the spoolie end and I'll just comb through that area where I applied the product. Moving back to the eyes, I'm going to pick up the shade Meadow and I'm packing this right in the center of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Icy Me and I'm packing that again right next to Meadow on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to pick up the shade Feel Free and I'm just using this to connect my lower lash line eyeshadow to the upper portion that I already blocked in earlier. Then I'm taking the shade Dream Maker and I'm going to be packing this on the inner corner of the lower lash line. Grabbing the shade West Side, I'm just using this to diffuse out the lower lash line and the outer corner of my cat eye. Then I'm taking the shade side to side, so I'm packing this on my inner corner um, closer towards the tear duct. So I'm using this as the inner corner highlight and I kind of want to bring it up slightly just a little bit in that area. So I'm going to use my finger just to kind of pack on more of that shade. Then for my lower lash line, I'm actually going in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Club Hopper. Then I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black and I'm first continuing out the lower lash line, extending it up. Then I'm drawing a line from right where my crease starts to the ending point of that line and then I'm going to jump back to that initial point and draw it down to the lower lash line. It's very difficult to describe but you see me doing it. So I went in with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black and I didn't realize that it was drying up and that's what that look was for and I kept going, try to fill it in and um, that's when I realized I fluffed up guys. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is grab my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm scared <laughs> because usually when I use this product, it doesn't work. It sticks my eyeshadow. I'm like, Lord God, please work. But um, I managed to get this product to work for me. 
So I'm just using this eyeliner to fill in all the areas that were a bit more blotchy from the um, groundwork that I've already put down with the gel eyeliner. And I'm also going to use it to connect the inner corner towards that line that I initially drew in the middle for my eyeliner. <laughs> come through outfit change. So I'm using my ABH That Glow Glow Kit. I'm picking up the shade Bubbly. So I'm gonna be applying this to my nose first. I also like to use my highlight to carve out my brow. So I'm just using it underneath the brow and on the brow bone. And I'll use my ABH A23 brush to apply my highlight to the highest points of my cheeks. And I'm also applying that highlight to the areas on my face where I put that highlight base underneath that I felt kind of got lost and also to my chest. So I'm grabbing my Fun Size Melt Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Edible and applying that to my lips. I'm going to be wearing the shade Duchess from Sugar Pill today, so I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and fill in my lips. And then also for those of you that may be wondering, the lashes that I'm wearing are also from Sugar Pill. They're in the style Cinescent. So I'm just going in and blotting my lips together to blend the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And I will go in later with the same edible lip liner that I did before because I really want to make sure I have that nice, good, good blend. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my e.l.f. Cosmetics Illuminating Mist and Set and go ahead and finish off this look. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do this look. Bless up, and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye, guys. <laughs>